All right, guys, welcome back to the Pinchy channel. I'm your host, the Pinchy, and today we're going to be talking about the best dungeon in Digimon Masters. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so we are into the game. I wanted to show you guys where you can find the actual entrance to the dungeon. We're in Death Center, and this is Gankumon. You're going to talk to him. He's going to have a quest that says Path to Become Strong, and he's going to give you two tickets. Now, how this is going to work is you get two tickets every day. Now, you can save them and then use them all at once. You can do it every day if you want to, twice a day, right? Or um, you can um, allocate the tickets any way that you want. Uh, but it's very important that you guys uh, understand that every single day you want to make sure that you grab these two tickets. You need to have these tickets every single day because eventually you're going to need them. All right, let's go into the wiki. All right, guys, and we are back now in the Digimon Masters wiki, which, by the way, whoever works on the Digimon wiki, thank you so much because everything's perfect. All the information is out here. If you guys ever need anything, you can always check out that website. We have the image here on the right. This is how it looks like once you go in. It looks like a Coliseum or Arena. It has some information about the Gankamon training and how many tickets you can get daily. Very important thing right here in the bold, it says that it will be in Korea, GMT plus nine. And what that means is that, for example, for us in North America, if we want it the Monday, we actually have to do it on Sunday. If you want Wednesday, you have to do it on Tuesday because we are one day behind Korea. So that's essentially how it's gonna work. Let's take a look at the things that I this is the reason why I know for a fact, for me, my opinion, but I know that this is the best dungeon is because it has so many different things that you can get from it. Uh, if you don't agree, I want to I want to know what you think about, like my opinion about this being the best dungeon. If you have any comments, put it down below, but let's just break it to it. OK, so you have every single day is going to be a different reward. Uh, Mondays, you have equipment attribute boxes. Tuesday, you have a chip set wednesday there's a backup this thursday you have a dg aura friday is the jogger's chip saturday is the digi clones and sunday is the x factor also known as possibility of resistance box so let's take a look at what these actually mean as you can see right here in the wiki it has broken down of how many things you can possibly get from the gankomon training reward box and that will happen after you defeat those digimons that we saw earlier here for each day You'll fight the first enemy, the second enemy will spawn, and then the last enemy will be Gankumon itself. They're not really that hard to beat. You can probably beat all of them if you're at least level probably 70 to 80 with your Digimon. It's not it's supposed to be a daily. They made it easy for everybody. So that's also good. And um, the Digimon that appear are from Season 4, Frontier, uh, just as uh, you know, more information there. So the reason why I think that this is the best dungeon out of all of them in, in Digimon Masters is because the ability to get um, Alphamon or you can X and you can get it through the Gankamon's training box that have the X factor. And as you can see, when you open the box, you can get a one, two, three, four, five or ten of these uh, loot boxes. Right. And we used to pay for these and now they're free. And if you scan those, you have a chance of getting the Alphamon or you can um, so very cool, very useful, as you guys already know, and we talked about it in a different video. Um, Alpha Monitor Yuken X is the best free to play Digimon in the game. You need him to be able to move forward. As you can see, the other really good thing that we get from these boxes is the Digi Clones. You can actually get Mega Reinforced Digi Clones, which if you saw the other video I already broke down, what is the difference between all of them? Uh, obviously, the bottom ones are harder to get. So like getting a times 10 or getting the Mega Reinforced or getting the 15 day, the, those are going to be harder to get than the other ones. But again, you know, it is random. It is luck based. But the fact that you can still achieve it and get them for free is what I think the, the reason why I, I I think that Gankamon's Training Grounds is the best dungeon in the game. So now there's Digi Auras and Joker's Chips in case that you don't buy the monthly subscription to Game King. Uh, the Digi Aura obviously helps you not lose any energy while you're Digivolved, and the Joker's Chip is going to help you with being able to fuse. Uh, there's also backup discs, which go hand in hand with the Digi Clones. We talked about that in the other video as well. And then the last two, I would argue you do not need to do these. Do not waste your tickets going into the dungeons for, uh, I believe this is Monday and Tuesday, which would be for us Sunday and Monday. Uh, equipment attributes these are for your clothing and then the chipsets are for your uh digivice and they give you extra stats 
uh but you can get much better just through the storyline and just uh attacking normal digimon in the wild so it doesn't really matter and they'll be higher right there's r 10s r 11s which is better than this r6 and same thing with the ranks right here you'll eventually get rank c which is much better but anyway so um the fact that this is so versatile you can use things that are for fusion purposes or for you know saving some food purposes to be able to digi clone and like reach a higher level with your digimon purposes or to just get the best free to play digimon in the game the reason why i love this dungeon so much also is that you can just save the tickets you know just grab the two tickets like i said earlier save them and then you pick a day let's call it friday because you want the saturday items and then you just go 50 tickets and you do it all in one day and then you try to get as much things as you as you can um so yeah so i think this is definitely the best uh dungeon uh in the game at least for now i didn't have it back in the day so i'm very jealous that now the new players have it but that's the point of the whole entire process of this game right it's getting better uh, i know there's a lot of arguments with how much is pay to win and everything but it was worse before you know obviously now you can see that if they're they're giving one of the best digimons for free with the clones which is also expensive like so they're trying without you know i, I don't want to take away credit or give too much credit either because we're in that realm where like you know as a veteran player we know that the game could be much better but at the same time i'm very grateful that we have a dungeon like you see here with Gankumon. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, leave them down below and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.